What's up, guys? Welcome back to Sequence. I'm your host, Trevor Plouffe. This episode is brought to you by DraftKings. And back for a bat number two, Young Slugger, Austin Meadows. What's up, dude? What's up? What's up? What's up? You're uh, So you're at home. We're recording this. You're, uh, you're at home now. You tested positive for COVID. Yep. And it's been quite the process. I mean, do you want to share with, with people kind of yeah. what's been going on? Yeah, it hasn't uh, hasn't been easy for sure. I mean, you know, I've had some mild symptoms and, you know, I was pretty tired early on. And then once I got my energy back, I'm able to, you know, get back out. And the hardest thing is not being at the field with your teammates. I mean, that's the hardest thing and trying mm-hmm. to find to continue to stay in shape and continue to to hit and throw um, at your house is just it's not ideal. So um, obviously you get your working at the field and um, it's, it's definitely been a really hard time. But like I said, you know, I'm back pretty soon so um yes. and to keep a keep a level head i'm just excited to get back out there with the guys that was kind of my question when all this started was like what's a guy gonna do when he tests positive he has to you know be quarantined yeah are you going into the field at off hours or are you just strictly doing stuff at home like how is that process where you're keeping yourself ready yeah well you have to isolate so you can't leave your house um so the only time i go outside is to hit or to throw into a net and uh, <laughs> uh luckily we have a place down here that's on the water um so being able to access that and being able to um swim in the pool outside has been nice mm-hmm. and stuff being stuck inside all day it's not ideal um no. but you know so hopefully hopefully we can uh, get a change of scenery here soon yeah, we're recording this. It's actually opening day for everybody today, and we're hoping to get you back in there very soon because I do have my prediction for the World Series, and it does involve the Tampa Bay Rays winning it, and you're a big part of that. So right. looking forward to getting you back on the field, man. I love everything about that org, and like I said, you're a big part of it. I'm excited. I'm excited to watch tonight. All right, let's get to the video. Before I get to the video, you guys know the deal. Here's the ad. The long wait is finally over. Golf's first major of the year is this weekend. The golfers are heading to San Francisco to tee off and compete for the crown. And there's no better way to join the action than with the DraftKings Sportsbook, America's top-rated sportsbook app. To celebrate golf's first major of the year, DraftKings Sportsbook is offering special odds and promotions all weekend long. And all new users get a sign-up bonus up to $1,000. Every day of the tournament, DraftKings Sportsbook is boosting your profits by 30%. All you have to do is opt in and place a bet. Head to the app right now and check out all that they have to offer, including player props, day-by-day action, and even hole-by-hole live betting. As football season is clear in our sights, DraftKings Sportsbook has rolled out a season-long football pick em pool with $2 million in prizes up for grabs. Make your picks and watch the games unfold. Plus, DraftKings Sportsbook is a safe, secure, and reliable betting app. You can deposit and withdraw your funds at your convenience. Download the top-rated DraftKings Sportsbook app now and use code JOMBOY when you sign up. For a limited time, all new users can get a sign-up bonus up to $1,000. That's right. DraftKings Sportsbook is going all out with a sign-up bonus up to $1,000. Just enter code JOMBOY when you sign up. Only a DraftKings Sportsbook. Must be 21 or older, New Jersey only. Bonus compromise of a first deposit bonus and a first bet match, each up to $500. Deposit bonus requires 25 times playthrough. Restrictions apply. See DraftKings.com sportsbook for details. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER. All right, let's get straight into the at-bat. We see Charlie right there. Uh, we both uh, played under him. He was a coach in Tampa Bay when I was there. was still a coach uh, when you were there, or last year as well. Uh, so we're happy for Charlie. We like that. It's good to see him getting a shot in Toronto. He's got some bombers up there too. What do you think about the Blue Jays? I think they got a lot of young studs for sure. Um, you know, I think growing up, I mean, not growing up, but going through the system with Reese, being the catcher, I, I've played a lot with Rowdy as Rowdy Tellez mm-hmm. as well. Oh, I love Rowdy. Yeah, stupid pop. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, a lot of those other guys, they got a lot of young young studs. So um, I think they have a bright future and they're fun to play against. All right, so this is this is about from 2019. You're in Toronto. Um, I think you've already hit a home run in this game. And this is your second yeah. at-bat uh, of the day, facing the same pitcher, Thornton, here. Yeah, I'm feeling it here. I mean, I'm, I'm feeling it. I'm at, I'm at a, I'm on a pretty, pretty good streak right now. So I'm one of those. See the best. Yeah, it's a great feeling. So I'm feeling it here. You can tell in the rhythm and stuff. So 
what do you do when you're feeling it? What do you do to keep that feeling? Like, how do you bottle it up? What's your, what's your recipe for that? Man, I'll tell you what, I don't think about anything when I'm hitting, like when you're feeling it, you don't think, you know, obviously when, and when I say don't think like you just see the ball, hit the ball. So when you're, when you're going through a tough time, obviously at the plate, you think about everything. You think about your hands, you think about your, your feet, you think about everything, your hips, blah, blah, blah. But when you're, when you're going good, you show up to the field and you know, you're getting two or three hits that night. You know, it's a confidence thing. And I think that's the biggest thing is it's a mental game more than anything. I miss that feeling. That's true. You show up to the field and you're like, I don't care who's on the mound. Like, I'm putting one in the seats. Right. That's no great. doubt about it. Only if we could have that all the time, right? Oh, well, that's the thing. Some guys do, bro. Okay. Mike like, Trout. think about Mike Trout, you know. <laughs> yeah. He doesn't have any, uh, he doesn't have any doubts for sure. <laughs> it's insane, you know. I t- I, this is it's way off subject, but it's funny. You, you bring that up. You think about guys. I play with Jim Tomey. He hits over 600 home runs. Think about 600 home runs, bro. That's 10 years of 60. <laughs> yeah. Or that. 20 years of 30. Like, this is ins- these are insane yeah, numbers. Every year is a successful year, regardless. That is something that, I mean, I wish I had that. <laughs> I wish I had. I battled every, every at bat I have. But um, I got to say, Austin Meadows' career starting off pretty good. All star in your second season, so let's get you back on the field. There's, is there an all star team this year? Mm, like a postseason, no. maybe I don't know. I may, maybe like a yeah, but not like an actual game, but maybe just like a team. I don't know. All right, we need you on that. Love that. All right, let's start this at bat up. You're feeling yourself. You're locked in. You hit a homer already. I can kind of tell you like look hitterish. You feel hitterish. Look hitterish. Yeah, that's a good feeling. Get that tap. Ooh. Little funk right there from Thornton. Got some funk, yeah. He's got some funk for sure. And this is one. It's also another thing too, where you just you're taking, you know, it's one of the, if when you're in a funk, you kind of you're looking early, you're looking to, to hit early. When you're feeling good, it's almost kind of like, all right, let him let him make his pitches and then wait for that one mistake. That was auto take. Oh, auto I'll, take. Okay. All right. So oh one. A little bit of funk. A lot of funk. Good layoff right there. Right Good layoff. The zone. He's got a little bit of carry. He's got a little bit of funk, so it can be tough to pick up, pick up a little bit, uh, pick up early. So you gotta stay with it. Yeah, those guys are tough, man. Here he goes again. So okay, eighty-nine slider cutter thing, ninety-two fastball. So not a lot, not a big difference. Right, not a big difference. Just a little bit of cut there. Are you? Some guys. Um, as hitters, like when a guy was that close, 92, 89, I liked it. I felt like then my timing was kind of like the same and it was just about pitch yeah. recognition then. No, uh, for sure. Do you like that or do you like the guys with the, the slow curve and the fastball so you can kind of see right away? Oh, God. <laughs> the Zach Grinkies, no. I, I don't. <laughs> Where that curveball is, what, 60 miles an hour yeah, or something? Yeah, tough. Like not fun. No, I, I do, like you're saying, I do like the guys that – um, they do have that, you know, the guys that really have that different speed is tough. Um, so, um, like you said, this, this little cutter, 89 mile an hour cutter. I mean, once you, if you get the barrel to it at the right spot, you know, you can hit it a long way. So that's right. All right. One, two. Now, usually I'd say you're battling, but you're feeling it right now. So you, you're just still locked in, get your A swing off. Yeah. I'm about two. Uh, I mean, with two strikes, when you're in that spot, you just, you feel like it's two. Oh, I mean, you feel like you see everything you've seen all his pitches. So you, you kind of just react, you know? Now I see him flash the off-speed pitch. Oh. Another long drive. Deep down yeah, I got that one good. Side. That was the curveball, and they can't even show. <laughs> they couldn't pan out fast <laughs> enough. Pan out fast <laughs> enough. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go see that again. All right. I see the curveball signs of Jansen catching probably. I mean, I don't know who's catching, actually. but Let's see. Let's see where this thing ends up. Just yeah. right in the wheelhouse, baby. Right in the wheelhouse. Look at that. Like Again, that's one, two, three, four, fifth deck in yep. Toronto. Everyone's going nuts. <laughs> You're like, whatever. I, I knew I was going to do that. <laughs> I really you know. I, once I found out the dugout <laughs> fifth deck, I was, I was pretty surprised. I'm not going <laughs> But I know I hit it good regardless. Oh, man. I got to see that one more time because <laughs> – I want everyone to kind of just notice how relaxed you are hitting with two strikes right here. Regardless yeah. if you're locked in or not, like kind of like 
this is how you should be with two strikes. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Don't panic. No panic. Just just react to something in the zone. Luckily, he made a mistake right there. You see him give the curveball. You see how comfortable you are. And then just a hang it and a bang, bang it. <laughs> Dang, bro. I love hitting in Toronto. I don't know how you feel about it. Clearly, it seems like you like it. <laughs> it's a good spot to hit. Yeah, it's a good spot to hit. Well, they're not gonna, not going to be there this year. <laughs> Uh, Buffalo, right? Um, you know what's funny is that Brandon Lau did the same thing that he had two home runs and he did, he had always obviously in the same fifth deck, the same game as me. Wow, crazy! All right, the Bombers, my Rays, man. But we got a little bit, a little bit of friendly competition there. See, oh, here's one. the slow mo. Oof. Yeah, I got that one. <laughs> he knew it was gone. You knew it was gone. Um. <laughs> I love it, man. I'm I'm looking forward to getting you back on the field. I I love your setup, your swing. Like I like I said, like when you see guys like yourself that have that repeatable swing, yeah, it's 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 a key for success. So I'm looking forward to it, man. And I appreciate you coming on. Yeah, dude, I appreciate. It. Last year was an exciting year, and uh, there's a lot going on right now. So hopefully, we can just continue to just play baseball and win some games. Rays 2020 World Champs, baby. Let's do it. I'm calling it. Do it. I love it. All right, man.